Let's start. There'll be a vote in the United States Senate today. Harry Reid wants to bring to the floor legislation that would raise the national minimum wage to ten ten, ten dollars and ten cents an hour from seven twenty five. Uh, this will not pass. They will not get. I'm assured this morning by a Senate Republican aide, the Democrats do not have the sixty votes to proceed. So likely a show vote, Julie. But sometimes a show vote's important. Why? Well, in an election year, a show vote is particularly important when you're talking about Democrats who are trying to build a message of income income equality, economic fairness, this plays right into that message. And it actually politically works better for them if they have Republicans that are trying to block this from moving forward. Supreme Court says the president has the authority, if he wants, uh, to try to regulate climate change, carbon emissions across state lines. There had been some thinking that the president could couple these executive orders that we're expecting this summer with a decision to approve the Keystone Pipeline and basically try to appease both sides of this debate. This is a place where not only does he have the pen and the phone, the executive power, but he's got the pen on the phone and now a surprise Supreme Court ruling. Um, so this could be something I think 20, 30 years from now we could look back and what he's done, what he may do this summer on climate change could be more impactful and bigger for his legacy than Obamacare. Republicans say newly released emails about the Benghazi attacks prove a smoking gun, prove some kind of a cover up at the White House. What they point to is here's one of them from Ben Rhodes, a deputy a national security council official who works on press. He said the goal was to, quote, underscore that these protests are rooted in an Internet video, not a broader failure of policy. If there's a smoking gun here, it's the email that said that our goal here, our number one goal here, is, show, is showing on the Sunday talk shows through Susan Rice that the president is strong in foreign policy. That was the goal. The goal wasn't to find out the truth and find out what happened and make sure this doesn't happen again. They put politics first, and it began to undermine their credibility.